And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zareth Zillion, our first of three ranked donation decks. We've been playing some meme tier last couple of days. We're going to be going back over to ranked with some more of our donation decks. Y'all know it's donation deck week. We got, um, we still have a good amount of donation decks to get through. Um, viewer submitted decks. We're, we got this one and then we have two new ones that we put together on stream with Sivir Scion and Ezreal Kindred that we'll try out. But um, this is, you know, a classic. We've played Zarathilian a decent amount. Um, not Nothing too flashy about the list, but it's just very powerful. You you are allowed to play nine champions instead of six. You, you know, it says you're only supposed to play six, but you get three Zillions, three Zareths, and three of the Arsenals. So it's kind of weird they let you play nine champions in this deck, but they do. Then you also have uh, what we determined yesterday, the best card in the game, Endless Devout, for your mid-game stopper. And so we're going to have a, a pretty strong deck here. We got good card advantage with Preservarium, a, a very good removal spell with card advantage with Pokestick, and we're going to have just a, a pretty decent little deck. So uh, we also get Mini Morph, a card that can answer anything in the game. So you, kinda, you have a lot of tools. So if your cards line up for you, uh, you're going to be doing well. So let's go and give it a try. This is a more control version of the landmarks. I guess I should say that. You know, like there's different like zigs. Uh, decks, especially Ziggs with like Herald of the Magus, that those like maybe with Talia, um, those are going to be more aggressive. This one's going to be more controlling because those ones will have like the the overwhelm with your Ziggs and your Talia, and that can be really hard to stop. But those are going to be more aggressive. This one's going to be more controlling, trying to play a little bit of a longer game and really unlock the arsenal, have the arsenal finish it out. All right, so let's get let's get to it. Let's go ahead and uh, play games over in rank today. We're playing five like always. First matchup against Braum Aurelian Soul. And this is a the good thing about this matchup for us is that we can assume that their deck is built around. I don't think I want any of these. I guess we just start with a rock hopper to start with one, but they're gonna have like avalanches and stuff like that. I don't want to just have a board of rock hoppers. Anywho, they're gonna be playing Targon's Peak, you would expect. Like, these two regions with Aurelian Soul basically always means Targon's Peak. And we have Desert Naturalist that can blow up Targon's Peak. So that could be pretty important. So we're going to need to find Desert Naturalist, though. So I could actually see leading with... Like, maybe I'm supposed to be leading with Preservarium to look for Naturalist. But considering we had the attack token here, I played the 3-1. Didn't do me too much good playing the 3-1. I guess we'll go this. Mm, I don't know. Maybe do I want to just kill the 3 3? Wow. Triple the arsenal. Kill my 3-3. Naturalist. That's not good. Naturalist. Okay, okay. The deal four is not going to kill like a whole lot of stuff. I want to get this five power fearsome attacker online. Also, you know, use mana that was going to go away. And it's not like the worst to get this crest of inside in right now. It's not the best either, but it's not the worst. I don't really want to give them both. But now I give... Alright, so I go from 8 to 9 now. I want them to have 8 again next round. I don't want them to have 9. Because it's 
nine is whenever you're start, whenever you start talking about um, feel the rush. You know, nine plus three. And that's a problem. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. So we've only destroyed four landmarks so far this game. So cool. They didn't really get any extra value out of. Seven. Uh, they didn't get any extra value out of like that extra mana gem, so that's good. How are we doing? It's gonna be number seven. We have hourglass to protect arsenal. Yep, there's Field of Rush. Alright, so we got Life Steal, Spell Shield, Quick Attack. Scout? Wow, we got Scout. Do we have Fury? Yes, we do have Fury. We can grow. That is great. I guess we just Yeah, we just do this attack. I don't know, you know, attacking with everything else too, but we'll just do this. Could hourglass it right now. But I'll wait. My how they stay. Wait for you know a challenge. That was, this is like the ideal, those are like the ideal <laughs> uh, keywords for us almost. Alright, deal two to some other units. Alright. Gets rid of spell shield. We're gonna need some frost bites. The constellations bow. Yeah, really, it's all the level. I don't think that really matters. They... Our arsenal should have like every keyword in the book now, right? Because they already keep, they keep all those keywords they already had. All right, so they have spell shield, they have elusive. All right, and they have scouts so they can attack in. They'd have to have like double harsh winds, right? Like harsh winds once for the spell shield, then harsh winds again. Okay. Okay, so Draven Sion. Arsenal Hourglass is absolutely amazing, but you know, that's we're talking about round eight, and this is a deck that can be attacking for a lot of damage earlier than that. But we saw how how powerful and as chat used the word obnoxious that combo is. And it was probably what you know, against a slow deck like that. That we just played against. That's actually kind of exactly what we wanted. Is just arsenals and hourglasses. Bastion with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Bastion. I appreciate that. Thanks for that continued support. Four months. Oh, five months on a four-month streak. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. Is it here yet? Okay. Go and pass. Alright, so they're gonna have a Draven up next. Oh, 
whole lot of Unraveled Earths. Not a very good Unraveled Earth matchup. Time for the main event. Not a very good Unraveled Earth matchup at all. Would have been nice to have the Unraveled Earth before... Ooh, that ball. Before the Draven. Down to 11. Dogs really don't like the lawnmowers next door. Hey, I, you forgot Zillion was in the deck. Yeah, so they're playing stuff to try to eat up the Roiling Sands. Which, by them doing that, does make my Time Bomb better. Yeah, Zareth. I wish this minefield would be stunning the Draven. Okay, well I guess we can stun... Stun the 4-3? Yeah, we can stun the 4-3. I don't know, I kind of want to get this, this Zareth in play, though. Axes coming right up! The reason why they were making this trade with the 4-1 and the 3-1 is that they, even though like I'm, it looks like I'm kind of uh, pressed for forward spaces because they're worried about another time bomb, just killing the 4-1 for free. Oh, that levels up Draven. I probably shouldn't have Draven level up, so I guess I could I could hourglass this rock hopper. But then if I hourglass the rock hopper, then I don't get to Zareth, and obviously I really want to Zareth. Well, I don't. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be difficult to kill Draven with Zareth because assuming they, they they can play, they can you know get two other like flame chompers in, in play right now after I play the Zareth to, for like protection. So we have to like kill flame chompers plus kill flame chompers plus kill this thing then kill Draven. That's not easy. I think I have to do this even though I don't want to. I don't think I can let that Draven just level up for free. This also means they. Oh, I guess they don't. Yeah, I mean, it's not as easy to play both Flame Chompers because they won't get, um, they won't have Spinning Axes if I do this. The benefit of Boo with the resub. Thank you, Boo. That Zareth animation is so sweet. It's so cool. Yes, yeah, there. Having those die. Alright, so not sure how we're stopping that card yet. Uh, besides stunning. We need burst speed stun. Alright, so I'm going to be doing this to get rid of my stun card. To 
promote them playing something before combat. And not just open attacking. Because now they're maybe they're not as worried about getting stunned because my stun card's gone. My stun landmark. We have a backup. So now maybe they play something else first. Oh, their souls have been lost. Unfortunately, the worst card in our deck right now is the Chemist for like where we're at, and we drew a couple of Chemists. Well, okay, now maybe I actually want a Chemist to block. Now they play that card. I've never tried this chemical before. I have a lot of those. I was going to play Double Preservarium, but maybe we need this Chemist to block. Okay. It's rough though, I need this extra spot that I don't have access to. I guess I don't have to destroy landmarks for these. Given Tonks says if you were to kill Scion with Xerath plus right. Yeah, like, if we if we stun and kill Xerath at the same time, will the new Xerath be stunned? And potentially. Yes, this is currently killing Scion at round start. Currently. This will happen. Oh, I should challenge first with the chemist. I guess. Well, no, maybe not. Maybe I want to keep this chemist alive. Don't mind. I don't really want to destroy this Hexplosive Minefield because if they have another uh, Scion for another round, I you know, kind of want to keep this available. Yeah, we could break Preservarium. I don't love that option either. You know what? Alright, final answer. We're just gonna kill Scion. Worthless. 
I have backup Xerath and I have Hourglass to protect Xerath. Six, seven, eight, nine. I'll pass. I can play the event of chemist and open attack and do nine to them. Like, you know, nine with the time bomb. But I think we may want that other scrappy bomb. You know, because if I play it right now, we don't get the scrappy bomb. Alright, so this is attacking for six. I'm one mana short from Zillion. Go put Arsenal on top. Pokey Stick, draw Arsenal, and then play Arsenal. We're one mana short there. Probably fine to destroy Landmark card. Like you. Minefield's not bad either. Those are both good. You dropped something. Oh no! I wanted that naturalist. Blow up the minefield. Stun something. Oh, I wanted that. Oh, that that hurts. That naturalist was, you know, gonna give me a two a two four, a five four, and stun their blocker. Wow. Wow. Yeah, we still have all three all three uh Arsenals in here. Man, that hurts. Oh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't have the mana to Arsenal at that point of the game. Definitely wish I would have gone with the open attack line if we knew all that was going to happen. Aloof Travelers. Kind of any other card would have been great for us, basically. You know, like we would have done just fine against any other card. Oh, this is bad. Finally, we found that thing. <laughs> Wanna see what it does? I think they were gonna like Scion Round Star. We were gonna minefield. We destroyed 18 landmarks this game. That's a lot. And that's like legit, like that's not even using, that's six, uh, you know, six impacts. That's not even using, um, you know, the cheat code, whatever that card's called. Hourglass. That's not even using hourglass. That will do. Wow, crazy Arsenal game. Crazy long game. Hoppy Ziggs. Alright, so we're playing against aggro. This is where uh, we can could struggle. 
right against an aggressive deck. This looks like a good hand. Right? Yeah, this looks like a good hand. Rock Hopper into Endless Devout into Desert Naturalist. Slow them down just a little bit. Save some life. Good hand so far. Good hand for them too. You know, first three rounds, double saboteur, double stone stackers is usually very good against a lot of people. Yeah, I didn't know Bandle City Mirror was going to hit Loping Telescope. Best card to hit at one mana. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. Man, their hand was incredible. But ours is better. At least so far. Hey, yeah, stun the poppy. Kill one of those. So get a 5-4. at two. Good, play more stuff. Go ahead, play more stuff. They seem hesitant to play more things. How we lose here is all burn spells, right? Like, they can burn me out from 12. That's how we lose here. Yeah, they could definitely burn us out. Like we could we could definitely lose this. That is a possibility. See, I kinda want this naturalist to die also. We naturalist the sarcophagus, we waste we don't get either the five four or the two three, one of the two. Or the the five four or the five or the five three. We don't get one of them. But I guess that's how it is. So no five three. Okay. That'll do. We definitely need to open attack. 
and, you know, have put enough... We had to put lethal out on the board for the open attack. Alright, Draven Scion. So we got this last time, but I think we had some a little bit of luck. We're definitely getting rid of the Hourglass. We have to send Minimorph back, right? I don't want to, but I think that we have to. It's, you know, great against Scion, but that's not going to be for a while. We need our early game blockers. Those are very important. Oh, yeah, our hand last game was really, really good. Sure. We had, like, a perfect hand, basically. Uh, maybe something with zillions and time bombs could have been better, I guess. It was ideal. Let's get. Time is winding. Like a waltz. At once. Man, double endless devout. Best card in the game. Axes coming right up. Ow. I'm glad that we're trading with some treasure and not like a 3-1. You know, they had like, you know, they play a monkey there and then we attack into a monkey. I'd rather trade with some treasure for sure. Or we can draw cards. I guess we're naturalisting. If it was important, they should have built it better. There's the monkey. Get excited made my life a little worse. <laughs> Draw some cards. Death is transient. As long as the body holds blood. Oh, I'm going to get it. They want a spinning axe here. Boss Watch should just be using the Zillion to challenge, honestly, because the thing about the Endless Devout is I want the Endless Devout to block the Risen Rider, but we can't always rely on that with them having the Flame Chompers anyway. Huh. Not using spinning axe, using a valuable card such as Mystic Shot. It could be used to kill me. Unexpected. We don't have any need to do anything right now.
So this is only a summon ability. It's not going to gain more keywords now. Like, they, they change this card for that, right? No, 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 no. When you destroy now, like, grant me a random... Okay, never mind. So, yeah, it, it does. You want a big move? <laughs> call this guy. All right. So no lifesteal, but it does have elusive... Gonna come back with a lot more keywords. Okay. It's got a lot of keywords now. We don't have stun landmark, do we? No, no stun landmark. Um, could just play another arsenal. It's at nine right now. So, like, let's say they just attack with Scion. Like, what? What's my blocks? Do I block with? Do we block with the arsenal and have the arsenal die? But that doesn't sound good. Do I block with the grumpy rock bear and then we take six and then we die to? You know, four points of burn. I'm sorry to say, time isn't really an illusion. Okay, let's unra- Okay, chance is going to unravel. Look for a stun. Okay, not stun. I don't know what my plan is there. Oh yeah, we need mini morph. Which now I can't. Yes, yeah, so we need a mini morph for stun. All right, so if we block there, which I don't want to, that lets them... We're up to 15. Or we go to 4. And they can even kill their own thing and then rally. Neither option's very good. 15 and they re... Alright, chat says go to four. Alright, chat saying go to four. I guess we're going Zareth. Yeah, it's true. It was very risky because they had Draven on board so they could have Whirling Death. And a Whirling Death would have killed us. Yeah, they're going to flock their own Scion. Alright, so flock the own Scion means that thing dies. Okay. I guess I could have Pokey Sticked. Look for a stun. I guess I could have Pokey Stick to look for a stun. When I found it. Alright, back to nine. It's the. These are the plays they had to do to just. You know, to kill my arsenal, so the arsenal doesn't kill them. Scout, Elusive, Life Steal. No Spell Shield, but it's got everything else. I still have Ride of the Arcane available if we want. 
Alright, now spell shield. Oh, no, it gained impact. I don't think they can kill like a six tough thing anyway. Even though there's no spell shield, like I don't think that that's too important. All right, and there we go. It was not. The arsenal is not a fair card. All right, and the kind of popular deck these days, Ezreal Vine. We'll see how they do against the arsenal. I like this hand, right? All this, I mean, Rock Hopper, I guess, could probably be replaced because they're going to have all the one damage spells. But I think Unraveled Earth is, is a good card to kind of start off with and, you know, Preservarium. I don't know about a second on Unraveled Earth. So they're probably going to be a catalog. Go hard. Deck, awesome. We got Desert Naturalist to blow up catalog. There are people who think the arsenal needs, needs to be seven mana, I pull the but that doesn't make any sense. The arsenal is ridiculously powerful, like just too powerful. <laughs> Would you look at this it's one of the very best cards of the game and then just make it cost less. Yeah, this this was the the hole in my plan was specifically round two Elise. This was the hole in my plan. Of like draw cards and set up a bunch of landmarks dying. Well we could play Endless Devout. I don't really want them to kill Endless Devout. Alright, let's get another one though. Time is winding. I do want these endless devouts. But we're gonna start next round with yeah, good aggressive start for them. So yeah, good start against... That's a good hand against what I was doing. Round two at least, round three at least. No, naturalist. Uh, Please don't have another Loof Travelers. Okay, good. So I do still kind of want to have this Naturalist for uh, Catalog. I don't want to necessarily just use it immediately. All right, we're gonna do it. Now they're gonna play like Catalog. And then I don't have that anymore. Thinking I'll learn soon. Plus two, plus one, so three, three. Five, three, trade there. Yeah, why not? That's not bad. Because they don't grow that one too. So they're left with four cards in hand and I have five and I have a better board. So, so far we're looking okay. Vi's good, Vi's good. We can probably just stun that Vi. Not really doing anything with this Zillion though. Right. 
We must all make sacrifices. Focus dick. Let's roll. That's a first. That's an Ada. Do two to all enemies. That doesn't sound good. I'm going to deal four to the Vi, but I'm just going to get this Elise out of here. Now we can kill Vi with this. If it's made of sand, I can write it. Yeah, I've, I've seen Destinata a couple of times playing against this deck. Like yesterday, we had one or two opponents play Destinata also. I don't have anything to protect Zareth right now. I don't know if that matters. I don't know if I need anything to protect Zareth. Um. More time bombs? We haven't seen any time bombs yet. See, decided to say something. Now, when am I? It's always a, it's always a good question. I guess I could play that. I guess I could have played that chemist right there. Mm. Stun card. It's not exactly a stun card. But to be able to block it, it's fearsome. I hadn't seen Ledros in this deck. Ledros is a good finisher. Save spell mana. Hmm. The most likely outcome is that we just die to Mystic Shot or get excited. I also pass and, you know, because I 
we we had one arsenal burned by aloof travelers we obviously need arsenal life steal and stuff we made it yay but our stuff did it I'll be very, very surprised if we win this game. Very surprised. 5, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14. I guess this is technically like an open attack lethal. Welcome to 18. If I... I can mini morph my own thing. I can mini morph my own rock hopper, so it doesn't die. We're still looking at 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 14, 15. We're only looking at 15. They're still going to 18. Did I freeze time again? Oh dear. Yeah, they could have just played the Ledros into the Mystic Shot. So we have no business being alive right now. We were absolutely dead to them just doing that. We have no business being alive right now. Woo! They didn't, yeah, they didn't have that other point. We're about to heal. We had no business being alive. Alright, so what we learned is all you have to do is cast the card, the arsenal, and your opponent loses. That happened five out of five games. Man, this card is ridiculous. I, I just don't understand how this card's printed, to be honest. It's so many keywords that you get, it's just, it's kind of unbeatable. Now, obvious, obviously that last game, they should have been able to beat the arsenal, because if they would have just led with Ledros. Like, the card's telling you what to do, right? It's named Ledros. Lead with the Ledros. They would have led with Ledros. Then Ledros would have dealt three to my Nexus, which I was at five, putting us down to two. Mystic Shot does two, and we lose. But they didn't. They led with Mystic Shot to put me down to three, surprisingly enough, and so then Ledros did not kill me. But we'll take it. Um, yeah, but besides that, like in all the other normal games, the, uh, the arsenals were just owning up. Because like our opponent would have like Scions and a whole bunch of stuff, or even like the very first game, whenever they had like Aurelian Soul and uh, and Braum that were 10-10s because they feel the rush, and we just play like an arsenal that's just better than those. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Like one arsenal was just outclassing, you know, 10-10 um, Aurelian Souls and Braums. That's when you know this card's kind of insane whenever it just outclasses feel the rush for those two champions. But uh, yeah, that's, that's going to do it. Uh, Awesome, you know, good, very good deck, right? Like Endless Devout is just like perfect here for the curve. I liked how the Zillions fit in the curve also for the two mana spot to give us some blockers against aggro. Uh, we were able to win. We had we had an incredible hand. We did, but we were able to beat another incredible hand from an aggro deck from the Ziggs Poppy. Uh, and that was a really, really good showing that we were able to beat that because they had uh, round one, they had uh, Legion Saboteur. Round two, they had a Stone Stackers. Round three, another Legion Saboteur and a Stone Stackers. And then round four, a uh, Bandle City Mayor plus Loping Telescope on round four. And then round five, Poppy. And, uh, you know, then also f follow that up with a Fervor. Us being able to handle that, like, that's that's not a hand that many people can handle. So, that, so we were able to defeat the decks that were trying to go really big, like Brahma, really and Soul. We were able to defeat the aggro deck. With that uh, Ziggs Poppy twice defeated Draven Scion, which is not an easy deck to defeat, which is, you know, can can go really big and be aggressive. And we're able to defeat that twice. And then finally, we kind of got lucky against the Ledros Burn deck where they should have won that game. Uh, but they misplayed and, and we won and that's how it goes. 
So we were able to play against like the wide spectrum of decks and have success against the wide spectrum of decks. I think that shows that the deck's pretty powerful. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and let me know how you've been doing with different Arsenal decks. If you've been enjoying those and um, you know this one with Zareth Zillion, if you try it yourself, let me know how it goes for you because we just went 5-0 in Masters rank. So if you're looking for something to rank up, there we go. All right, but that's going to be it for Zareth Zillion. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.